Hello everyone, this is going to be a more serious video than usual. Pr probably pretty unexpected for me, the goofy creator that you see post the stupidest stuff, um, the stupidest stuff imaginable. From stuff to me getting hit in the groin with a pear, to dressing up as a well-renowned crocker from fairy, from the fairly odd parents. So... That's me. I'm that guy that you all don't know because my channel is small. But, um, for me being so upbeat at the start of the video, this is going to be a little bit more serious than expected. See, this is a topic kind of about, well, I'm not going to explain what the topic's about, really. I'm just going to talk about my message in general. I'm just going to start. So... Just to cut to the chase, uh, to cut to the chase, I miss my best friend. I really do, and I feel like us as people don't really appreciate what we have in the moment. Sometimes, he's not dead. He's he's very well alive, but I moved, and I lived like before I moved like in that place my entire life. Never lived anywhere else. So moving from a place you've lived your entire life to a new place is pretty difficult, you could say, right? And um, you end up missing those people a whole lot, you know, as, as do I. So I still keep in touch with them. They're not gone from my life. I still talk to them. I still play around with them on such things like video games or just talking calls and all kinds of different stuff like that, but it's not the same as spending time in real life with those moments. That's how I used to. So, it's mainly, the meaning of the studio is spend time with people, like a lot. Don't waste time laying around in the house whenever you could be doing something fun. It's it's boring. It's a waste of time, really. I understand that most people are tired. I get really tired too sometimes. I'm, I get sleepy, you know. Sometimes you get sleepy and you gotta go Betty by, but sometimes you gotta do something, you know. You can't just lay around doing nothing. You gotta get out there. You gotta meet people. You gotta make friends. You gotta find people who care about you. You you gotta find your people. Which is what I did. But I kind of like lost them along the way. I didn't really lose them. It just we kind of. I'm not there anymore. Which is very sad. But it's very nice to hear from them. See them. I even see some of the stuff they do. Like. Like there's small channels that they operate. That I see on YouTube. Which always makes me smile. To see like the small silly things they do. Like such as skits or whatever. Um, trying to think of what else to list, really. Another thing, I've made, like, a lot of ideas, a lot of creative ideas in my life so far, but I'm not able to execute them because I don't know how to do such things as code or, say cook food that great i mean i'm good at cooking some things but i wish i could be better like there's certain things i want to get better at but i don't have a whole lot of time in my life with some of the things i'm already doing like i already play music for a church which is really great for me it's been very fun actually the church is great great people there the music we play is pretty good I've liked it a lot. It's been a good influence on me these past two months, I'd say. And now it's about to be March, surprisingly, which is crazy. Because how much time has passed so fast from since last year to now and everything. feels like everything's flown by recently, you know? So we have to learn to really be happy with what we got and live in the present. You can go back and look at the past, but look at the good things and improve upon the bad things and look to look towards the future. 
don't be too worried about it, but at least plan ahead, you know? Because some people, they don't have a clue what they're going to be doing in the future. They don't have a clue on their job, any occupation they want. Personally, I don't get that because I've had so many ideas and so many things that I've wanted to do. But people, some of them, they don't have much of a plan. And I wonder what's what, what are they going to do? So if you're that kind of person that does not have a plan, I do want to know, will you make a plan? Any plan, really, just as long as you're on your feet and you're doing well, that's what I'm glad to hear. In my future, I hope to be pretty well off. I think that I will be, except I just don't know how easy it is to like be accomplishing what I want to accomplish in my lifetime. So, like, I'm a pretty creative person. I like to do the arts and such and music, all that kind of stuff. But it's probably not going to be an easy thing to do all of these things. I still need to learn how to code. That's a big one. I'm probably going to start taking a coding course re like pretty pretty soon, actually. Let's see, let's see. That's one of the, one of the big ones I'm about to do. I'm going to see if I can get my best friend to start doing that as well. We can finally start creating what we've had dreams of creating the past a lot of years now since maybe 2017 2018 probably is whenever everything started to do with like me and his him and I our ideas I and him grammar me and him we have a lot of ideas him and I yeah I think him and I is correct Forget, forget all that. So, him and I, we have a lot of ideas, right? But we don't know how to create them. So, don't just make ideas and not do them. Because if it's a good idea, it needs to be made. And I've had so many ideas that I really want to make come true. And it'd be heartbreaking to not really end up doing that eventually. Because I've invested so much time and so much thought into these Things I kind of care for. And I feel like I'm making it for people to enjoy. Which is why I almost do anything. I want people to enjoy my work. To appreciate it. And to look back on it in the future. And see who I was. What I made. Leave my mark. That's one of my big things I want to do. That's the whole gist of this video. Is do what you want to do. Be responsible. Don't get behind in life. Stay ahead. Keep in touch with your friends. I miss them a lot, but I still talk to them, and I I will visit them. I plan to. They're not, like, really far away. But it's not... It's, I'm not going to be able to see them that often. So, what time you do have with your people and your friends, spend it wisely. And don't be stupid, don't like drama, don't be rude, don't do anything wrong, don't wrong your friends, don't drag them into things that they shouldn't be dragged into. Be good to them, they'll be good to you, and everything should be fine. And please don't grow distant from your friends in the future, out of high school, because I know that a lot of people do that, and most people don't have that many friends after high school. After people start growing up, they lose friends, and they don't really talk to that many people anymore. But you still need to have stuff to do. You still need to have friends. That's important, because that's good for your mental health. And I feel like it'd be good for everyone if we were just a lot nicer to each other, you know? Not to say that people are rude, even though some are, but we should just not be afraid of each other as much as what we are. Just being a... Society that's more comfortable with each other. Not so judgmental, not so dramatic. More in tune with everyone. Just all together, everyone treating each other fair. That is all I really wanted to say, really. I just wanted to say my thoughts and do an actual video for once. Isn't this interesting? A video? 
You weren't expecting a video, were you? Nope. No, you weren't. Nothing but YouTube shorts. Yippee, because everyone loves those. The things you spend your life wasting hours on watching. I do it too. They're pretty silly, huh? They're they're very addicting. Enough of YouTube shorts. Maybe I'll start doing more videos. Probably not videos of this kind, because this is everything that I want to talk about, really. I hope that everyone enjoyed, like, all of my words and everything I've said. And I hope that you take it to heart. Don't, like, treat it like it's some kind of quota you have to live by or something, but it's just something to keep in mind, because I think that I have a couple good things to say here and there. I'm sure not the smartest guy, but I'm sure not the dumbest guy either. And some people probably misjudge me because of how I act or my channel, but it's all for entertainment purposes, really. I'm pr pretty smart, you know? Most comedians... Whenever they're acting stupid, I mean, comedians have to be pretty smart to do what they do. Whenever they're acting stupid, that's acting. They're trying to make you laugh. They're not trying to actually be stupid. Although, well, yeah, they are, but they're not actually stupid. They're putting on an act for you. As do I. And this is the end of the video. And I hope everyone got something to take from it. So, without further ado... Goodbye.